Okay, I've never seen this in the almost nine years of making YouTube videos. You guys have been begging, and I mean fucking begging for this. I think it's time to address it. Hey guys, it's Metallica AXS, and these are my Zim Apex settings. This is such a hyped video. The last Zim Apex video really got some views in my opinion, since I didn't get many views compared to others. I said to you guys, if I got 5100 subs, I would make this video. We got that before I even uploaded that video. So the last Zim Apex video didn't really explain my settings very well. So this time, I'm going to slow everything down, explain everything, use pictures, just to make everything a lot more simplistic and easier for you guys to understand. A lot of my settings in-game have changed as well, so I'll start with that. The time index you see on the screen will take you straight to the Zim Apex settings itself. So skip that if you don't care about my in-game settings. Okay, the sensitivity has changed a bit as you can see. My statement on always keeping the primary controller sensitivity at max is still the same and will never change. Always have that at max sensitivity. However, I've lowered my ADS targeting from 0.75 to 0.6. Near the end of Season 6, I realized my mouse hand movement was really low. I barely moved it around the mouse pad. I wanted to move that hand around more, so I lowered the sensitivity more, which ended up actually giving me more precise aiming. I dropped the scope sensitivity from 0.75 to 0.4. Same reason as my ADS, but lower than ADS for far distance sniping, like 100 meters plus. After I did that, my snipes legit actually got so much better. Oh. I finally stopped being such a pussy and increased my building sensitivity from 1.8 to 2. I need to build as fast as I possibly can now that we have these sweaty soccer skins on controller who think they're mongrel. I still need to get my hand moving faster. Recently I realized my building speed in game is actually fucking shit. I still, I'm still working on that. I feel the need to address these settings as well. Sprint by default's off. Sprint cancels reloading is off as well. I prefer to run when I need to. I'll reload later. Toggle targeting on. This is just what I've grown up with, but for controller, I have it off. Aim assist is on, because that shit's a gem. Holy fuck. Edit mode aim assist, definitely off. It is shit when it's on. Auto open doors is on, because it saves me that second between life and death sometimes. I hate auto pick up weapons, it fills my inventory with shit. The auto sort consumables to the right is really useful, definitely on. Build a bro, build immediately, definitely on, because that shit feels like no turbo building when it's off. Controller edit whole time at max because I have an instant edit button, don't need that shit. Why the fuck would I have vibration on? Does anyone even use that shit? Hope the fuck not. Okay, the shit you guys really wanted to know. Take note of these three screenshots. These controller binds will help you understand my keybinds a lot better. What you see on the screen right now is the equipment I use with the Apex, the Razer Tartarus V2 and the Razer Death Adder Chroma. What you see now is the button layout that is on the Tartarus to make it easier for you to understand because the Apex detects it as actual keyboard inputs, not the numbers that are on the keypad itself. These are the functions of each button. As you can see, some controller inputs are used on two different keys at the same time. Here's exactly how I did that. You need to go to your Zim Apex Manager app, click the three dots in the top right corner, tap on Global Settings, enable Expert Configuration, and change your response rate to either 500 or 1000 Hz. This will give you a much smoother response and experience with your mouse on the Apex. After enabling Expert Configuration, you'll get access to primary and secondary inputs. This allows you to bind two keys to one controller input. Okay, here are all my settings in the manager. My sensitivity is at 18.0 with a common synchronization. Thanks to a viewer who showed me how much better common synchronization is. I can't remember who showed me, but yeah, thanks whoever it was. My smoothing and YX ratio are at default settings because I don't mess with that shit. Again, my mouse is at 4000 DPI. This is known to me as the best DPI set for the Apex and at a 1000 Hertz response rate. I'll go through all my keybinds again, but through the Apex manager this time. Just remember the names of each button function in the manager aren't all correct because of some of my custom controller binds. The right trigger is to fire and build walls, which is set to left click. Left trigger is to aid down sights and build ramps, which is set to right click. The right thumbstick is to crouch, which is left shift. Remember, this is the bottom left button. There is no control button on the Tartarus. Left thumbstick is to sprint, which is set to caps lock. I can click it three times to auto sprint. Right button is to switch to the next weapon and to build floors, which in the primary section is set to four, and in the secondary section, it's set to C. Left button is to switch to the previous weapon and to build roofs, which is set to Q. A is to jump, obviously. In the primary section, it's set to space. In the secondary section, it's set to the front mouse button or mouse button 5. 
I use the mouse button to select stuff in my inventory. B is to switch in and out of the building mode, which is set to tab. X is to reload, it's only set to R. By the way, I do not use X for interaction, you'll see why in a second. Y is to switch to my pickaxe, which is set to 2. I move each direction of the D-pad 1 to the left, it just feels like that's more right. Up on the D-pad is to open my inventory, which is set to the left button on the D-pad of the Tartarus. If you don't know what I mean, it's this button right here. The down arrow on the D-pad is to instant edit and confirm, and the secondary is set to F. Right on the D-pad is to interact. The reason being is because back when E was set to X on the controller, not only would it sometimes interact, but it would reload when I didn't want it to. It's not much of a problem, but it was a bit frustrating. So the right on the D-pad is now set to E. The left on the D-pad is to emote and to change materials or traps. That is set to X. The start button is, as usual, to pause. On the primary, it's set to the mouse 4 or the back mouse button. In the secondary, it's set to 1, which is basically the escape button for me. I don't know how this happened, but for the Xbox Home button, I press in the middle button and scroll up at the same time. No fucking clue how that happened, but... Okay. I mean, I'm gonna just deal with it. Well, that didn't take as long as I expected it to. Alrighty. <sighs> Fuck me. Those are my 2019 Zim Apex settings with the Razer Tartarus. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. Let's get this video to 100 likes. And I'll do something special for you guys, because you guys are fucking amazing. If you have any questions about my settings, anything related to it, leave a comment down below. I'll help you however I can. And if you're not already, why not subscribe? Because why not? Seriously, why not? I already have more videos ready to upload, so stay tuned for them as well. I couldn't give a single fuck if you hit the notification bell or not. Hang on. Does anyone even use that shit these days? I will be making a 2018 Zim Apex montage very soon. I just need to find clips and stuff. So be ready for that. This has been Metallica AXS and my Zim Apex settings. Enjoy the end of this nutty 16 kill win. I'll see you guys in the next video. Sixteen? That's my first sixteen kill game. Huh.